Okay, so I want to do a video for more advanced sort of centering thoughts, processes, whatever. So I'm starting off with a slightly larger ball of clay so you guys can see how this goes. I'm going to seal the base. I'll add my water. Wrists together, thumbs over the top, pushing down, keeping the heels of my, or the sides of my hand up off of the wheel head so I don't grind those off. Always keeping that downward pressure right here as well as um, that pressure right here. So those things want to be together. And then when I want to lean forward, I'm leaning forward with my body not with my arms. My arms do not disconnect from my body. That's really important, guys. Then this, super important. This is where all it all comes into play because I can push forward and as long as that's pointed into the center, everything's going to be great. This hand over the top, we're going to have that on the top bit. And I want to make sure that this little section right here is the part that I'm going to actually push down with. So I don't need to cover this whole area. I'm just covering one side of it. And I want you guys to practice bringing this up and down. So one of the things that's really helpful, especially when you start to start to throw uh, larger pieces, is um, coning the clay. And you can do that just by pressing forward here and pulling back here. So it's basically at a six o'clock point and the um, 12 o'clock point. And I don't even have to lift my hands, it just goes up. Now, bringing that back down, I wanna keep my hands working together up at the very top of this, just like our regular thing. Um, and I'm gonna push down at an angle. Okay, and that's gonna cause it to bend a little bit. And part of what's happening there is that we're actually um, wedging the clay on the wheel. So let's say you're learning how to wedge and your wedging hasn't quite been on point. This is another way that we can kind of work out a couple more um, air bubbles. So again, I'm going to bring this back in. Now, there is such a thing as too much of this because we are adding water to this as we're doing this. So this is a great technique if your clay is a little bit stiff and uneven. Like maybe you recycled your clay and it didn't quite get the full wedging thing down. This is a great way to work with it. But I'm going to bring that back down again. Okay, so I'm using my top hand to guide that in to my left hand. Anytime it feels hot or sticky, I change it. Okay, so let's practice a little bit. Let's try pushing down making that nice and flat. If it's not flattening out for you, you gotta push harder. Okay, I'm gonna push down, keep it flat. And I'm keeping this hand over here to help guide that clay down so it doesn't just turn into a weird like mushroom shape and fold over and then create an air pocket right here. So this hand I'm keeping at a little bit of an angle. So that way when I push in, it's guiding it down into the wheel head. Okay, and I can make this flatter. And again, the only place that I'm touching is right here. This is my like strong point. Okay, and now let's, um, let's bring this back up again. Okay, so that's gonna be mostly on this part of my hand. However, if I just do this, then I start to get that little like ridge there. So what I wanna do is I wanna help guide this clay up and that clay in the center up by keeping this part at an angle. Okay, so I got that little like divot right there and that's fine, I'm gonna push those, I'm gonna push that back down into the clay, work it back into it. Okay, so you can, I want you to play around with moving this around and changing that, this shape very purposefully. Like, so let's try to make it nice and straight on the top and the bottom. Okay, so I'm doing that. I'm making sure that this part of my hand is nice and straight because this shape is a result of this part of your hand, okay? 
And then I'm gonna push down and work that back into my left hand. So I'm pushing, anytime I'm pushing down, that's gonna be with my right hand. Anytime I'm pushing in, that's gonna be with my left hand. Um, and again, watch where this goes because a lot of times what happens to people as they're throwing is that they will start to let this move over to the side. So if you're having difficulty getting something to like, there's that little extra wobble that you just can't get rid of, move, make sure this is back in line with that center point, okay? And then I will push down again. Now, if you're trying to cone on the wheel, like I do this like two or three times, but the other thing that you can see that's happening is I'm getting a lot of slip build up here, okay? And so you don't wanna do this forever. You will take away all of the finer particles and leave yourself with a gritty mess. Um, so, because you have a limited amount of time to work on the wheel while you're adding water to the clay because clay is actively weight breaking down I mean, water is actively breaking down the clay as we're working on here. Okay, so let's make that hole. And I'm gonna, so we're gonna do a little thing where we're going to make a hole and we're gonna go all the way down because we've had that happen before. Where we touch the wheel head and we're like, oh no, now what do I do? So here's what we're gonna do. First things first is I'm gonna take this clay from the inside and I'm gonna help guide that back in. Now I don't wanna create an air pocket in there. So as I'm guiding the clay back in, I'm trying to keep this finger kind of at an angle to help feed that clay back down. So I'm pushing down with my right hand again and, and actually adjusting Okay, there's still that hole there. And I'm slowly working that in and trying to make sure that I don't create an air pocket there. Okay, let's make that a little bit thicker. So here, let's, let's check and see what we got first before we go any further. So I think this is still a little bit on the thin side. So that's still a little bit thin. I want that to be like about that thick. So I wanna go a little bit more. Grab that clay and bring it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna really start to work that clay down and in. So I'm pushing in on the side here and I'm pushing down on the top and using my pinky finger to help guide that clay over and slowly bring it in. I am using a lot of force here. And I would say that the main point of pressure that I'm really putting on here is actually down at the bottom part of the heel of my hand. I'm maintaining this sort of width over here but I'm really working on bringing that clay in and you can see how it's actually coming up from the center and evening out. So now when we look at that, like, ah, there's tons of, like we made that way thicker, right? There's no more hole. Okay, and we'll go back again. So let me just show that to you guys one more time. So I'm gonna bring that down and we'll just make a nice big hole down at the bottom. There's our oops. It's a pretty big oops. We can bring it back. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of a layer of clay down here. And I'm guiding that in. And I'm letting the clay kind of flow I'm pushing this way and I'm making it so that it, when I push that clay forward with this hand, it's forced into the space that I want it to go with the, my left hand, okay? So my right hand is pushing down and my um, left hand is guiding the clay in. 
Okay, now sometimes you might make a little bit of an air pocket in there, in which case all you need to do is just go back and stab it with your needle tool and it'll be fine. But I think that feels pretty good. So now let's bring this all back. And so again, I'm gonna have a lot of pressure on this outside hand and really work on keeping the clay um, coming in. And it's all about the angle. It's the angle of your two hands that creates this to ha like creates this little movement, okay? So I'm gonna try to use, it's really helpful to use a lot of water, but it's also hard to see what's going on if I use more water. Because I, I do have a lot of pressure. So as soon as I can get that to level off, now we're back in business again. I'm gonna bring that back in see how my right hand is angled up and that allows that clay to flow upward okay let's see if i recorded that <laughs> 